for the UFC. And other people wanted him. But now he's going to be in a mile of red tape there, guys. Okay, his purse, his disclosed amount is up for grabs. His back-end money is 100% up for grabs. He's going to sit. He's going to be embarrassed. He's done with MMA. And I think he's probably done anyway. But after he gets a two-year suspension, I mean, there, there's no chance he's coming back. So anyone that wants to pile on Brock, you're having a good day. People wanted it to, to extend, and they wanted the WWE to kick him out. And he's scheduled to be on SummerSlam. He's got this match coming up with Orton and, and blah, blah, blah. And people wanted it to, to extend and interfere with every walk of this guy's life. It's like, hey, look, enough, enough is enough. There are rules put into place ahead of time. What's going to happen with his purse? What's going to happen with the fines and the sanctioning? And, and he's got to go before the commission. All, all this stuff. So if, if you're anti-Brock, you're having a good day right now. And if you're trying to extend that to every walk of his life, now you're just being a little bit silly. It just it doesn't work that way. But don't don't pile on Brock. Don't pile on Brock on that regard. He's in a mile of red tape. His MMA career's done. He got caught. His money's up for grab. His reputation. He's got to deal with all these things. So if you're anti-Brock, you're... You, be happy. Be happy where he's at right there. The fact that he gets to go over to SummerSlam and ha- has this unique opportunity of two two good contracts with two different companies, th- good for him. He's a big attraction. That's a publicly l- traded company. Let them move business forward. Don't be dicks about it. All right? 